Nitish may be out of power in Bihar, but his party, it seems, is still dreaming of forming another government in the state. According to sources, the JDU is in touch with the Congress, the RJD and the left, seeking support for a non-BJP secular government in the state. There also seems to be, eff seem to be efforts to elect a new leader to replace Nitish Kumar. That seems to be the speculation after hints by JDU President Sharad Yadav. Refusing to answer any other queries on a possible alliance with Lalu, Sharad Yadav said all replies will be given only after that meeting that is scheduled for four this afternoon. पार्टी ने ये फैसला किया है और चार बजे पार्टी के विधायकों की के साथ राय मशवरा करके फैसला करेंगे नए नेता का इतना ही खबर है so the resignation is not really going to mean a loss of power because there is a design to retain power and appoint a new chief minister from the JDU in the state of Bihar. Like we've been reporting according to our sources, the JDU is already uh, in discussions with the Congress party, with the RJD and the left. The RJD very interestingly, uh, traditional arch rivals in the state, several bitter and acrimonious things have been said between both parties in the recent past as far as the polling campaign is concerned. All right, Giriraj Singh says that Nitish Kumar is power hungry and he will shake hands with anybody to retain power in the state of Bihar. Speculation of how the resignation yesterday by the Bihar chief minister is being seen as emotional blackmail to quell the rebellion within the JDU itself. What will the BJP really be looking at as far as Bihar is concerned? Breaking up the JDU or a separate faction altogether? Rohit Singh live with us uh, from Patna for the latest on this big political story this morning. Rohit, uh, what are you hearing from your sources within the JDU and the government? Which way is this going to go? Uh, there, is, uh, there, is, there are uh, you know, uh, pieces of information afoot that a new leader will be appointed. There could be a new chief minister soon. Well, sir, first of all, let me make it clear that Nitish Kumar has absolutely played a master stroke yesterday with his decision to resign as the Bihar chief minister. Mm. He has tried to hit two birds with a one stone. And if I could tell you, explain how is, it, how is it, because there is rebellion brewing within the JDU camp and Nitish Kumar is aware of it. And it is almost certain that after the Lok Sabha ele elections are over, there would be massive revolt within his party. Yes. And to quell that, Nitish Kumar has resigned. And obviously, the, the idea is to emotionally blackmail them. That if at all, if I, if I have resigned as, uh, resigned as a chief minister, and if at all you do not stay together, obviously this assembly will be dissolved and your membership, which is still one and a half years more to go, that, that will be terminated right away and everyone will have to go to elections at the moment in the state. And at the, at, in the, mom, at the moment we know that there is a BJP wave in, in the state yes. and obviously no MLA would like to go for elections at this crucial juncture. Number two is that if at all some JDU um, MLAs do not uh, appear at this crucial meeting of the uh, legislative party at 4 p.m. today, mm. then obviously the second option is that go for midterm polls, yes. which the governor can ask for. And obviously when the midterm polls goes, Nitish Kumar will go to the uh, state, to right. the people, his, to his voters as a martyr and he will be saying that, okay, I have sacrificed my uh, post and now you can give me because nobody denies the fact that Nitish Kumar okay. has done a lot many de development in the state and obviously it is possible that he may return back with a thunderous majority. So absolutely master right. stroke played by Nitish Kumar by resigning from his post as Bihar Chief Minister and interestingly not dissolving the assembly. Well, let's just see if that masterstroke, uh, you know, gives Nitish Kumar everything he wants as far as uh, the faction-ridden JDU is concerned, a rebellion within. Thanks, Rohit, for that comprehensive update on what we're expecting to see happen at that 4 p.m. meeting of the JDU.